Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Lyrics and Lunch for this. Today is, wow, Monday the 26th. I used to say 6th. Now they say you have to say 6th. Oh, it's annoying, isn't it? Anyway, Monday the 26th of October. Wow, we. Nice to see you all. I hope you're all okay. Um, more information about next week, our breaking news about going, you know, live streaming next week. Tell you more about that towards the end. Um, but nice to see you all again. Now, how many of you own up, hands up, who put the telly on or went on to uh, Facebook an hour ago? <laughs> 12 o'clock because <laughs> you forgot to put your clocks back. Come on, own up. We've all done it. <laughs> anyway, it's one o'clock now. So you're right. OK, uh, same. We've all done it. When I was a kid, I was about 10 and uh, mum and dad used to take a, take me to church every week. And uh, I think one week mum was not very well. So dad took me on his own. And he was rushing me out of bed. He said, come on, Rob, you got to get up. We're late for church. So we were rushing around, getting washed and dressed. And then we rushed to church. And uh, we were there. And my dad said, oh, it's a bit quiet. <laughs> and then afterwards, the vicar came up to us and said, oh, we don't often see you two at the eight o'clock. <laughs> uh, we were supposed to be at the nine o'clock. Anyway, yes, of course, it was the day the clocks went back. Um, anyway, hopefully you've got what you clocks and watches sorted. The good thing about the, uh, the the clocks going back, of course, is that finally the clock in my van is the right time again. <laughs> anyway, let's sing. <laughs> Here we are together to have a good sing. Are you ready? Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together to have a good sing with you and me and everyone who's watching. Here we are together to have a good sing. <laughs> well done. Right, I know you're thinking, you're dying to find out what the theme is, aren't you? No, I don't know. Usually Damien gives us a little bit of a clue, doesn't he, in the opening titles or graphics as to what the theme is. So I'm wondering what he's done this week. <laughs> uh, this week's theme is alliteration. Yes, uh, alliterative titles of songs. So either the same kind of the same letter repeated uh, in a couple of words or even the same word repeated. So yes, alliteration in song titles. Ah, now, I've got quite a few to go at, so I've picked a few out. The first one is actually one I put in the little list for the colour theme uh, and it didn't get in. So this is in what was going to be in the colour theme. Uh, it could also be in the animal theme or bird theme if we do one. But I bet you've guessed it now, haven't you? Alliteration. The red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbin along. I like this one because it's got my name in it. <laughs> Here we go then. I'm sure you remember it. Perhaps not from the original 1926. <laughs> oh, going again. <laughs> Having a look at some. No. Okay, here we go then. <clears throat> when the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. Here we go. Right, I'll go get me a little starting notes. That's it. Throbbing his old sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepy head. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live long, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours. A kid again. <laughs> That's a hardcore change. <laughs> I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. But when the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bobbing along. And again from the beginning. When the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bobbing along. Along. And there'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing his Now I'm walking through fields of flowers 
Rain may glisten, but I still listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing this song. The red, red robin comes bop, bop, bop. When the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bop. And when the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bop. And along. Hey. There we go. The Red Red Robin. Wow. Okay, God, it's been a long while since I heard that song. My um, brother, Trevor, he, um, he went in his younger days, uh, early 20s, I think. He cycled around all of uh, Great Britain um, uh, along the coast road, nearest road to the coast, all the way around, the, uh, around Great Britain and up and down the borders of Wales and Scotland. Yeah. Now, I remember this song particularly because they took a, this is how long ago it was, they took a cine film of him leaving the town hall in Northampton. He, he actually biked to Carnarvon from Northampton to start the trip. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, a friend of his from his work filmed him on cine film starting off uh, from Carnarvon Castle. And he put this song, Red Red Robin, I've just remembered that. He put this over the top of it uh, as the music because Trevor had got his uh, red, like a red bright red top on and as he went off into the distance on his bike. <laughs> This Red Red Robin, I've just remembered that, was playing. Wow, reminiscing again. Um, Okie dokie, guests. Yes, we have guests again this week. And uh, he's been uh, lovely enough to do us one every week for a few weeks now. He's working hard in his new job, but he's still found time to do us another one this week. Uh, so let's see what he's done with the uh, alliteration theme. Ah, so it's over to Ian. Hello, everyone. Hello, Bob. Hope you're having a good week. It's Ian here again uh, with your weekly instalment of your George Formby song. Well, this week's theme is alliterations. Alliterations and celebrations. <laughs> oh, not, that, not that one, really. No, George Formby didn't do that one. Uh, he didn't really do many songs. Uh, well, he didn't do any that was uh, having alliterations in. Um, the only two I could find that would be suitable is Fan Life Annie, which I've already played for you, and Madame Moscovich, which is a song about a Russian fortune teller. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. It's a nice song. Hope you like it. Again, I've never done this one before, so we're going to give it a little go for you. In her little tent, a Russian fortune teller, read your character and read it true. She'll tell you all your past and present and the kids you're having and your future too. It's alright, Ski, sitting in the dark, Ski there. She's so nice, Ski, what'll happen is you don't care. For a Bobski, she'll tell you lots of things you never knew. Madame Oscarvich, the Russian witch, the Russian gypsy queen. Baby Bobski, half a crown, then she'll let her curtain down. Madame Moscovich, the Moscow witch, the Russian gypsy queen. She talks in Russian when she reads your hand. You can't understand. You wonder what she meant, Ski, if you pay her quit, then she will unfold her mystery. And you'll see much more than you did before of the Russian Gypsy Queen. Madame Moscovich, the Russian fortune teller. Well, that's all for me, folks, for this week. Uh, have a good week and hopefully see you again sometime. But just remember, hee 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 hee! Turned out nice again, hasn't it? Bye, everyone. Bye, Bob.
Oh, thanks, Ian. That was great again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Um, ah, now our next song is... Uh, I've been learning a few Beatles ones lately, haven't I? Last few months. Um, I've nearly, nearly got enough to do a whole Beatles episode, which I might do um, maybe sometime soon. Um, so this next one I've not done before. It was, I think, the Beatles' first number one, actually. Their first song was, I think, Love Me Do. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, you can start on the old emails. I think it was Love Me Do. It got to number two. Oh, well, there's a rhyme. And then uh, George Martin wanted them to have a number one. And he said, right, um, he said, I've got a song for you. How do you do? How do you do? You know, I think it was that one. How do you do what you do to me? Anyway, the Beatles didn't want to do a cover version. They didn't want to do a song that wasn't their own song. Um... So uh, they came back into the studio with a revamped version of this song that I'm going to do now. And George Martin listened to it and uh, he said, right, that's a number one. We'll go with it. And it, and it did get to number one. Um, I think 1963, I think, year I was born. Oh, never, Bob. Yes. Um, so it's Please Please Me. It's got to have alliteration in it, hasn't it? Please Please Me. Here we go. <clears throat> tricky wowee from 1963 please please me okay so this next song is um wow it's got a lot of t's in it tiptoe through the tulips yeah do you remember that one uh once again probably not the original version because it was 1929 originally written by nick lucas but uh, the famous version of this was in i think 1968 tiny tim do you remember him wow Tiny Tim. Oh, look at that. Even the even the singer is alliterative, as well as the title with the same letter. What about that? Tiptoe through the tulips, Tiny Tim. Ah, that's a good one, isn't it? And now he sang it very... He, he played it on the ukulele, and uh, it was very unusual. Um, he, he sang it very high in a falsetto voice. through the tulips. Ah, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't think. Well, I might do. I might just slip into it. Um... And the very strange things during it, usually like a click clop sound with a in the middle of it. I might not do that bit. Okay, here we go. Tiptoe through the two lips. Wowie. <laughs> With me, 
the shadow of the willow tree and tiptoe through the tulips with me. Tiny Tim, <laughs> tiptoe through the tulips. <gasps> Okie dokie. Um, right, our next song is, wow, I was going to start off with this one actually, um, and then decided to go with Red Red Robin, um, but this is a pro would be appropriate. Oh, sorry, <laughs> is that better? <laughs> um, this is originally by the Mamas and the Papas. And it's called Monday, Monday. That's appropriate for lyrics and lunch, isn't it? Monday, Monday. I have got in mind, actually, one week to do a theme on um, days, days of the week. So this will crop up again in that one. Um, so I don't know when that will be, but uh, yeah, you can start racking your brains about that. If it's a particular song you like with the day of the week in the title, then uh, let me know. Maybe email in. I'll give you the uh, email a bit later on towards the end. Um, okay, so this is Monday, Monday, Mamas and the Papas, haven't got the date, can't remember when it was, 60s again, I think. Here we go. <coughs> sang along with me to help me out on that one <laughs> well done monday monday so have a think about other songs with um days of the week in the title and you can perhaps um uh, blah, 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 email in let me know eh, for the days of the week episode whenever that may be well when i was thinking of this week's theme i hadn't realized that next week is halloween could have done a whole halloween version couldn't we but because uh, by the time it gets to next week oh my goodness me we'll be in november and it'll be too late to do a halloween themed one one so uh i found an and an alliterative titled alliteratively can't even talk i don't even know if alliteral alliteratively is a word i found an alliteratively titled halloween song yeah it's two m's in it monster mash 
Ah, do you remember it? <laughs> oh, it says here, Cap Pickett Capizzi, I think wrote it, 1962, but then recorded, as recorded by Bo Bobby Boris Pickett. Ah, okay. You remember it, don't you? You have to imagine all the starting bit. Thunder, lightning, bubbling sounds and chains, it says. I can't do all that. All right, so thunder like... Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I was working in the lab late one night When my eyes beheld an eerie sight For my monster from the slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash He did the monster mash, the monster mash It was a graveyard smash, he did the mash it caught on in a flash, he did a mash, he did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east, to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes, to get a job from my electrodes. They did the mash, they did the monster mash, the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash, they did the mash. Five. They play the mash, they play the monster mash, the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash, they play the mash. It caught on in a flash, they play the mash, they play the monster mash. Out from his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. He opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my transvenial twist? It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash, the monster mash. It's a graveyard smash, it's now the mash. It caught on in a flash, it's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. Now everything's cool, Drax part of the band. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them Boris sent you. Then you can mash, then you can monster mash, the monster mash. And do my graveyard smash, and you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash, then you can mash. Then you can monster mash, then you can mash. Then you can monster mash, the monster mash. And do my graveyard smash, then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash, then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Wahoo, mash good, yes, evil. Ah, you impetuous young boy. Mash good. Ah. You do the mash. Ah. What about that? Do you remember it? <laughs> the monster mash. Well, fortunately, that's the only Halloween one we're doing. <laughs> ah, dear. Right, it's guest time now. Um, with a th uh, alliterative title. Uh, it's uh, called Perhaps, Perhaps. Perhaps. And to sing it, we've got Lauren. And uh, playing along on the guitar is Harry. So let's over to, uh, hand over to them. Please welcome Harry on guitar. And to sing for us, Lauren. You won't admit you love me. And so how am I ever to know? You only tell me perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps A million times I've asked you And then I ask you over Again You only answer Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps If you don't make your mind up We'll never get started Being parted, broken hearted. 
So if you really love me, say yes. But if you don't, dear, confess. But please don't tell me. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Thank you, Harry. That was terrific again. Thank you very much indeed. Appreciate it. Wow. Well, it's almost time for our worship song now this week. And uh, last week with the letter Z theme, I struggled a bit, didn't I? Oh, I said I struggled um, looking for a, a title with Z in it. This time, this week, no problem with alliterative hymn and worship song titles. There's hundreds of them. <laughs> uh, but I've gone for this one from Graham Kendrick. Uh, it's called Make Way, Make Way. Okay, if you're not familiar with it, don't worry, just have a listen uh, to the words and the tune and uh, maybe we'll have a go at this when we get back uh, to some kind of normality. <laughs> okay, here we go, make way, make way. time for uh, a couple more before we have to say goodbye for the week um, and before I tell you a bit more about next week when we start the live streaming wow right this next one alliterative title 
Um, it's two words repeated. Oh, now we've done this a few times at Lyrics and Lunch actually. Um, so you're going to know it. Uh, we used to finish off one of the sessions with it. Okay, here we go. It's uh, a fictional vehicle. You've got it, haven't you? <laughs> chitty, chitty, bang, bang. <laughs> uh, here we go. Starts off with this percussive noise of the car. time for our final song this week in the alliteration theme and it's Mamma Mia by ABBA from 1975. Wow, do you remember it? <laughs> Here we go. It's got a recognisable start to it. If I can do it.
tricky oh i hope you joined in with that one at home wow that's another week done i can't believe it we'll finish off with our uh, our finishing off song yes we've all been together are you ready we've all been together 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 we've all been together and had a good sing with you and me and everyone who was watching We've all been together and had a good sing. <laughs> ah, well done. Well, thanks for joining us again. Thanks to, to our guests this week. And remember, next week we're going live streaming. All right, so tune in at one o'clock and we'll be live. All right, and interactive. Okie dokie. So uh, that'll be good. Not sure what the theme's going to be yet, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> so one o'clock next week you can tune in uh, as you normally do like this either on facebook or on you know on the uh, christchurch website page uh, facebook page rather uh, or on youtube so either way whichever you prefer whichever is convenient whichever is easiest for you okay so see you next week live one o'clock next monday okay <gasps> ah, wish me luck for that see you next week then okay and in the meantime take care of yourselves and each other god bless See you next time. Bye.